there's a lot of things that are still the same, but then there's a lot of things that are different too. Um, for me personally, my life is pretty much the same because I never, I spent most of my time here at Hope for Wildlife. And, you know, as a team that's always dealing with um, bacteria and viruses and that kind of thing, we did practice a lot of safety in our day-to-day -day lives. So a lot of that stays the same, but what it's really affected is my ability to get the work done because obviously a lot of my volunteers, you know, can't come in to do the work. Um, we had hoped to do some of the work from home, but unfortunately, um, for some reason, our wildlife rehab center is not allowed to let people work from home. So we've been coming up with some inventive uh, ideas and ways to, to make it work. We've sadly lost some of our drop-off locations in the city. So it is a little bit more difficult, but here at Hope for Wildlife, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, we have a really nice system set up. Uh, as soon as you pull in the driveway, there's a big sign that says drop off, and there's a nice little sign explaining what to do. So basically it's a beautiful little unit to put the animal in, and then you ring the doorbell and you can go back to your car and wait if you want, or you can leave, but we come running as soon as we hear that doorbell and gather that animal and give it the medical care it needs. So we're, We've got a pretty good system working where people do not need to come in contact with each other and it's been working really well. We have, um, we're practicing social distancing and you know, it was always pretty easy. Uh, it always seemed like it was at a distance anyway. So from that point of view, nothing much has changed. Um, it's not like great big film crew comes out it's usually uh, one or two people and now it's just one and um, we're very careful and it's been going really really well and um, you know I'm sure we'll be able to continue through the summer doing it in a very careful manner that we have been doing it. I think people are outside more enjoying nature which is great and they see things for maybe the first time ever and they think it's odd where even though that thing may have been happening for years now they're taking the time to see it and appreciate it so a lot more phone calls coming in to hope for wildlife I think it's really important. Um, times are so different right now and everybody's going through this pandemic together, but yet in a different way for everybody. And more people are going to be at home. And in some ways, I've already seen a bit of a shift in people's thinking. Um, sometimes I think we were so busy with our lives when we were working that when you got home from work and you found that attic or you found that critter in your backyard, you would just be not very tolerant, shall we say, and you just want it gone. I'm, I'm seeing a, a trend that people will call and ask me questions. Well, there's a groundhog, you know, underneath my front step. Should I be concerned? What should I do? Instead of, I just want it gone. So maybe we're slowing down just a little and stopping to smell the roses, so to speak. And it may have a really good impact on appreciating our natural world a little bit more. Um, but be aware that Wildlife is going to come to your yard, especially as we start to to make gardens and do more things out in our yard. So you've got to be willing to accept that. Like a lot of people have chickens and roosters now, but unless you build them a really secure coop, they will get bothered by nature. So think of those things before you start them and realize that, you know, you have to be aware that they're going to be a part of your life and embrace it. All the rehabs across Canada are pretty well in the same boat. Um, so it, it's really hard to make ends meet. And when something like this happens, it has a huge impact. So we're trying to think outside the box like you said, a big part of what we did was education and people would come to visit. We'd get hundreds of people and that would help us. Uh, they would leave donations and that would help us fund our operation all summer long. We don't have that now. So it does have a huge impact. So we're doing a 50-50 raffle. Um, sadly, it's just for people in Nova Scotia, uh, but we are working on trying to do something broader 
And so I'm sure all the rehabs out there are trying to find ways to, to fundraise and make people more aware that um, it is more difficult now with the pandemic. It's more difficult to get help. Um, everything is just going to have a layer added to it of difficulty, but we're not quitting. We're going to be here. We're still taking wildlife and nothing's going to change that.